Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. In this video, I will be featuring the one and only Trophy Wife from Fenty Beauty. And I used it to create this eye look. And of course, I have it on my face. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this journey. I am planning on filming a lot more videos. I have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. And if you're interested in this eye look, then please continue to watch. First, I'm going to go on with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It's my eyeshadow primer. I'm also going to be using this NYX eyeshadow base in the shade 03 to intensify my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using for the majority of this look is the Sephora Pro Warm Palette. I'm going to use this number 27 brush in the shade Biscotti and pop that from my brow bone down to my crease as my base color. Then I'm going to go in with the number 16 brush from NYX and use the shade Clay as my transition shade. This is the Sephora collection number 17 brush. I'm going to use the shade Burnt Umber lower into my crease to define it a little bit more. Basically, I'm using the number 27 just to smooth everything out. I'm going back in with Burnt Umber and popping that right onto my outer lid and inner lid to create a halo shape. Blend everything out. Next, I'm going to go in with Cedar and this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and pack that on my outer lid and inner lid again, basically just to create a gradient and intensify the halo effect. Again, blend the edges. Now I'm using the Soho Concealer Brush and my NARS Concealer. Basically, I'm going to draft out that halo shape that I want. I'm going to use this Urban Decay Synthetic Brush and Trophy Wife and pop that right in the center of my lid. I am using the brush wet because I want Trophy Wife to be very intense and I don't want any of the glitter to fall onto my face. So I'm going to continue to pack that color on as I see fit. Now I'm going in with the Morphe 330 brush in the shade Obsidian. I'm going to pop that right between Cedar and Trophy Wife just to create a little bit more drama. Now I'm going back in with Burnt Umber. I'm basically going to blend Obsidian and Trophy Wife together. So we just want to create that gradient. You don't want to see the black and the gold. We just want to have a nice gradient of blend. And I'm just going to continue to build everything up. So I'm just blending the edges over the halo effect right here. And then I'm just going to pack on a little bit more color. So right here, I'm just packing on a little bit more obsidian closer to my lash line. And then going back right in with Trophy Rife in the center just to brighten things up a little bit more. It's a lot of back and forth, as you can see, but it makes a difference. Now I'm lining my waterline with the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner in the shade Via Veneto. And I'm just going to pop some lashes on. These are Flutter Lashes Eye Slay Lashes. Sorry, they were limited edition. I think they are discontinued now. But these are what the lashes look like. Now I'm going to go in and pop on my NARS Soft Matte Concealer under my eye to highlight. The shade that I'm using is Amand. I do have foundation on. I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 420. And now I'm using the matchstick in suede to highlight the rest of my face. I don't like using it under my eyes because I find it a little bit drying. I'm using a number 90 brush just to blend everything out. As you can see, I'm lightly just pressing the matchstick into my complexion. I'm not rubbing because it does dry down to a point powder.
as you can see, the NARS concealer really gives me full coverage, so I didn't find the need to use this matchstick. Yes, NARS, come through. Come through. I know it looks like I used a lot, but I really didn't. A little bit goes a long way. I'm basically just patting it so that it blends into everything. Make sure everything is seamless. All right, and now I'm just going to lightly blend out my nose highlight. Next, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep to set everything. I'm just lightly pressing that under my eye area. I do not bake. Okay, I'm just going to lightly set my T-zone as well. Like I mentioned before, I'm normal to dry skin, so I don't set my whole entire face. So it's just set where makeup tends to break apart from um, moving and talking. Now I'm going to contour. I'm going to use the matte stick in Espresso and the Real Techniques contour brush. If you would like to see an in-depth contour video, let me know and I will get that done for you. But yeah, I really like the matte stick to contour with. I've been using it every day since I got it. It's really nice. And it's quick too. Like it blends easily. You really don't need a lot. That's why I like using the brush and picking up the product instead of swiping it on my face because it blends really nicely. And it sets really quickly too. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just <laughs> blending that jawline, girl. And then also the ridge of the nose. So right on the side. Yes. Now I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Contour Palette in the shade Medium Deep in the number 79 Contour Brush from Sephora Collection. And basically I'm just going to do the same thing to intensify my contour and lightly set it. Then I'm going in with the middle shade from the contour palette and the e.l.f. complexion brush. And basically I'm going to bronze my skin. I love this color. Look at the difference that it makes. Basically Smashbox, if you watch my video, I want you to make terracotta in a single so that I can use it as a bronzer. Please and thank you. Thank you. Okay. And there you go. See, it makes a difference. Warmth. Alright, basically I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line with the shade Cedar and the eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. I'm going to use the Pillow Out Duo in Me Money Hustler Baby as my inner corner highlight. I'm using the Hustler Baby side. And I'm going to go in with the shade Copper from Sephora Collection just to give me a little bit more gold right in that inner corner. Now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm using the Me Money side. I love this highlighter. I know it's sheer and a lot of people don't like it, but I like it because it is sheer. It gives you a nice glow to the skin without being too harsh. And it's really good to layer with other highlighters, as I will be doing in this video. I'm just going to pop some on my forehead as well, just to give me an overall glow to the skin. And I'm using the Anastasia A23 brush, by the way. And now I'm going in with Trophy Wife. A little bit goes a long way, as you can see. But how bomb does that look on my skin? I know a lot of people say that they don't like it because it turns a little green. But I think it makes it makes an effect. It looks good. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. And again, a little bit goes a long way. And you do not have to use it on your face if you don't want to. But if you feel like you do want to purchase it, as you can see, it looks really good as an eyeshadow. I'm just going to... Fix that side a little bit more because I want a little ham on the other side. Now I'm going to apply blush. I'm using the Sleek Makeup Blush in the shade Flushed. One of my favorite blushes. Now I'm lining my lips with the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Nutmeg. The lipstick I'm going to be using for this look is going to be Marc Jacobs' Georgie Girl. 
as you can see, it's a light pink, but basically I just pop it right in the center of my lips, use my finger to blend out the edges. And then I'm going to go back in with the next lip liner just to define the outer corner a little bit more. And then you get that nice neutral pink. And I'm popping the Gloss Bomb and Fenty Glow right over it. This has been my go-to lip combo since getting this gloss. I love this. How pretty is that lip, guys? Alright, basically I'm done. I'm now setting my face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And this is the finished look. So if you like this video, I would appreciate if you liked it. So hit that button and please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Thank you for watching.